Hey everybody, Eric Hayden here in the garden. Did a little spraying earlier today and I want to talk about that with regards to weather. Before I get to it, my two most important things with roses, you have to do what you want to do. I have over 40 rose bushes behind me. I spray weekly. Uh, I use a lot of different things. I want uh, exhibition type roses for rose shows. Uh, so my tolerance of black spot and disease and pests is much lower. If you're a gardener that has a couple potted roses, um, say some miniature roses on the deck, you might be able to stand a little bit of black spot and that's okay. So whenever you're watching these videos, keep in mind, take some tips, use them, uh, but you ultimately have to do what you want to do. Um, you don't need to do all the things I'm doing. So that's number one. The other thing I always stress is pay attention to the weather. It dictates everything what you do in the garden. Ideally, I want to spray once a week. So typically the last couple of weeks that has ended up being on Sunday morning. I've done a spray. Um, you can look at some previous videos, usually some type of contact fungicide and then something systemic, uh, a preventative and then something that is going to protect it on the outside and kill any spores I have around. I mentioned that I spray once a week. Um, that's according to the label, um, but the weather really dictates it. And this is what I mean. If um, we're having rain, if it's raining right now, I'm certainly not going to spray. So I always look at the weather. When is it going to be a dry day? When is it going to not be windy? So I try to spray first thing in the morning when it's not actually raining right now. And again, once a week for me has been Sunday and it's worked out just fine. This past week, we've had some very, very heavy rain. Um, so I sprayed on Sunday, and then we had heavy rain Monday night and into Tuesday. Um, because of that, a lot of my contact fungicide, you see all this white on the outside? This is a preventive. Um, it's supposed to coat the outside leaves and prevent any fungus issues. Uh, a lot of that got washed off. And we're anticipating some heavier rain tomorrow. And because of that, I didn't wait the full seven days. I sprayed on day number five. It's all based on that forecast. Could I have waited until Sunday? Yes, but that would have been after two heavy rains and a lot of my protection um, had already washed off from the first rain and it would have been gone uh, with the second one for sure. So I resprayed. Uh, you can see that residue on there now. So the whole point is really use that weather forecast to your advantage. You don't want to be spraying when it's windy. Today we're anticipating some breezy conditions this evening. Um, so I woke up and sprayed first thing in the morning. Um, you know, if you have five, six, eight days straight of rain, then you might not be able to get out there and spray. That's just the way it is. But try to find a time that's not windy, it's not currently raining, and roughly once a week is what I aim for. Again, that's all weather dependent. You can see these bushes are looking pretty good. These are my two more established beds. Here's Gemini right here. Uh, these are going on three years in the garden, so that's why they're a lot bigger. You'll notice some of my other beds are not quite as big. Um, these were just planted last year, so they're smaller. Um, this bed right here, these were also planted, this was last year, and that was two years ago. And you can see the size difference. Um, you know, it's, it's quite amazing. Just last year, end of last year, beginning of last year, and two years ago. You can tell that the growth really increases. So things are looking pretty good. I gave you an update the other day. We've got a couple new ones. This is a Fred Wright Rose. I think it's Melania. I gotta make sure I get that um, uh, card on that or label. Uh, this is Secret. I'm real excited about this. This is a nice hybrid tea rose. Um, it does have some form, but it also is very fragrant. Um, and if you want to talk about fragrant, probably one of my all-time favorite roses is Mr. Lincoln. Um, it's an ARS 8.3 or 8.4 for growth. Uh, anything above 8 is really good. So it grows really well, um, tolerant of a lot of things. I wouldn't say, you know, um, it's immune to black spot or things like that, but it does have a little bit more resistance than others. It's a pretty red, uh, and I wish you could smell it because the fragrance on Mr. Linking is outstanding. Another good one, if you're talking about healthy roses, this is Alina. Um, this is a monster. Um, down south, I do have a little trouble with thrips uh, with it, um, but it is a pretty nice rose, very, very healthy, um, lots of blooms, and certainly worth considering in your garden. 
Another one that is a good or decent grower and it's very fragrant is Double Delight. Um, every time I've had it, it's rated well for growth. I wouldn't say it's bad. I mean, the color is awesome and the smell is fantastic. So that alone is reason to get Double Delight. The fragrance and that color is just amazing. But when I compare it to uh, Mr. Linky and, and the back, they were planted at the same time. There's really no comparison in growth, in my opinion. All my Mr. Lincolns have always been very, very tall, uh, much, much better growth habit than Double, Double Delight. Again, it's not to say Double Delight doesn't have good growth. It's just, um, I think, between the two, uh, Mr. Lincoln, slightly more fragrant and is a better growth. And I'll end with one more. I've got to cut this before the rains hit. Uh, this is Baby's Blush from the hybridizer, uh, John Smith, that had um, Randy Scott, Dina G, Claire Elise, a whole bunch of them. Uh, and you can see that's a real pretty pink, a very, very nice rose. Uh, again, all my roses, except for the one in the back is Yolande de Aragon. All of them are um, hybrid teas. I'm growing for long stem. I'm growing for... Um, exhibition row shows. Uh, this is one of my newer gardens, or that one is newer. Um, that is Crescendo, and there's Claire Elise, another one of John Smith's roses. So that's what's going on in the garden. The um, main point of this was just to talk about, you know, use that weather to your advantage. If you're anticipating a lot of rain coming up and your spray day is also coming up, get that spray down first. Get that preventive that outside layer on the leaves, uh, coat them so that you're not as likely to get disease. And you can see, I'm still gonna have some disease. I'm looking for a few black spots and I don't see much. Um, you'll, you'll never be totally clean, but when you have uh, spray residue on like this uh, before rain, that will give you a head start on that. I'll last leave with these two. I've been kind of babying them and bringing them in. We've had some nights in the 30s, even a little bit of frost. Um, those are the maiden roses. If you've been following us along, this is probably about six inches long now. And I don't know if you can tell, but that's a pretty thick cane. Uh, that's Cajun Moon, and then we've got Maverick. And if you've been watching us, all three of, of the canes came out of this, of the bud eye, and the dominant one is still the one on the left. Uh, so those are looking real good. Again, uh, those are from Steve Singer up at Wisconsin Roses. I'll last leave you with probably one of the two better looking bushes we've got. This is a firm. You can see a lot of buds on this. When you see the color breaking like that, you're just a couple weeks away from blooms, but you can see all the buds. We're going to have a party here pretty soon. This is crystalline. I'm really interested in that one. It's a single stem because I just budded it. A lot of big leaves on it. And this one here, Marlin's Day, uh, you can see one, one bloom down there hiding. Um, but it's, it's a couple weeks away from really putting out a lot of nice bloom. So things are looking good in the garden. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video today. I can see there's always something. The pre-emergent has worked well. You can see that I don't have a lot of weeds, but there's always some. Those things seem to grow through anything, mulch and pre-emergent. But the garden certainly looks um, less weedy than it usually does this time of year. Hope everyone's staying healthy. The clouds are thickening up. And we're going to have rain here tomorrow, so that's why I wanted to get that spray down. Um, I didn't want two days worth of rain this week without having some type of protectant on the roses. Have a great day, everybody.